Hi, I'm Joanna from JDTV. Here's our next video on fine paints of Europe. This is this is our high gloss oil based paint. It used to be called Dutch lac. It's now it's called Holland lac. This is our high gloss oil. It's the shiniest one part paint in North America by 20%. There's nothing close to this. This is kind of the product that put us on the map. When you go to Europe and you see doorways and you see facades and things of that nature, that's this is the paint that you see everywhere you go. Um, what's also very different about this is, unlike most American paints, this is our high gloss oil is marine suitable. This is marine grade paint. Here in the United States, you have boat paint, you have house paint, you have inside paint, you have outside paint. You have every different type of form of paint known to mankind. Why wouldn't you just have really good paint? How long do you think a marine paint is going to last on your living room trim? It's going to be on there for a long time. So pick the color that you like. Okay? Because this is a paint that you could look somebody in the eye and say you're going to get 10, 15, 20 years. I try never to paint out of the can, you know, just so you can preserve the can and put the paint back in there. Somebody asked a good question the last seminar is, you know, how long is, is the paint good for after you, you put it back in there? As long as it's, um, you know, kept in a, in a dry area that's not going to freeze and you put the paint back on there and get a good seal on it, it'll last for years and years. So this is not a science, this is an art, the thinning. You have a lot of products here, epoxies and special resins and all these marine finishes where you have to add a perfect amount of this to that to get that, right? This is not, this is not one of those products, right? Mineral spirits probably evaporates on a hot, humid day about 20% an hour, okay? So going back to what I was saying before, these paints, thinner, much thinner applications, like here in the United States, you go, to a, um, you go to a paint store and you're buying a brush. The bristles are this long, right? They're that long. Good Corona, Airworthy, Purdy, they're four and a half, five inches long. If you put those, that paint, our paint on with bristles that are four or five inches long, 20% of the paint's going to be on the floor. When you're done, it's going to come sheeting off. That's going to look... I mean, you're going to make your life miserable. Thin applications. How do you do that? By putting on a thinner coating of paint. It's, you do that with short, stiff bristles, right? You don't. It doesn't have to be an Omega. It doesn't have to be one of my one of, one of my brushes. Just try to get them to buy a short, stiff bristle brush, okay? Um, and also by adding a small amount of paint thinner will help them do that. Sometimes these paints have a tendency to pull and drag and don't flow out nice, okay? You, should, you don't have to go through that. Add a small amount of thinner, it takes that unpleasantness out, so it should go on really nice and smooth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Join us again next time for our conclusion on fine paints of Europe.